Hello, welcome to the Heart Communication Foundation display at the Hanover Fair 2014. We're standing in front of the wireless heart technology kiosk where we're giving a demonstration and information on the wireless heart technology. On display, we have the three major elements that make up a wireless heart mesh network, and they are an actual measuring device, standard measuring device that's configured exactly the same way that you would a wired device, except you add just two simple, two more additional variables. One is the network ID, and next is a join key. The devices go in the same exact application as you would a wired device, but indeed there's no wires that have to be run to the device. Then there's a wireless heart adapter. We, the wireless heart adapter is used to take a wired heart device and make it wireless, and the wireless signal includes both the process variable as well as the diagnostics. And thirdly is a wireless heart gateway, and the wireless heart gateway provides all the network manager capability, security manager, and forms the mesh network. A wireless heart device is configured using the exact same configuration tools that you use today. It could either be a handheld device or the device could be configured using a PC-based configuration tool with a modem. The device is the standard type of heart device, except it has a radio in it. It can be powered by battery, line power, loop power, or using energy harvesting, such as solar or vibration, or any of the other technologies that are coming out to power these devices. The devices are not necessarily on all the time, only on when, they're, uh, uh, when the measurement is required so that uh, we're conserving battery power. And indeed, the, battery po the device also broadcasts the battery status, so you get early warning when it's time to replace the battery before you run into a problem. The second product type in a wireless heart network is a wireless heart adapter. Wireless heart adapters come in many types. Some are battery powered, some are line powered, some are able to take multiple measurements under one adapter. For example, in this particular case, this particular wireless heart adapter is enabled to take eight measurement devices in a heart multi-drop format. In this case, each one of these eight devices is dual sensor, so therefore there's actually 16 measurements being taken and communicated back to the, to the gateway via one adapter. The adapter can be mounted on a device, as we see up in these examples, or the adapter could actually be mounted at a remote location anywhere on the 4 to 20 milliamp loop so that the actual measuring device might be underground or at the bottom of the tank, and yet the wireless heart adapter can be located where we get a good radio signal. Thank you very much for watching this video. More information is available at the Heart website. Address is heartcom, H-A-R-T-C-O-M-M, dot org. Thank you.